CATL, the world's largest battery producer, has announced a new condensed battery with 500 watt hours per kilogram that will go into mass production this year in one of the most significant battery advancements in recent years. Fatale's new condensed battery will have nearly twice the energy density of Tesla's 4680 cells, which have a rating of 272 to 296 watt hours per kilogram, which is regarded quite high by current standards. According to CATL chief scientist Wu Kai, the condensed battery incorporates a number of innovative technologies, such as ultra high energy density cathode materials, innovative and ode materials, separators, and manufacturing processes, and provides excellent charge and discharge performance, as well as good safety performance. He claims that the new technique breaks the barriers that have long stifled battery development and would usher in a new era of electrification focused on high safety and lightweight. During the presentation, CATL stated that it is collaborating with partners on the development of electric passenger aircraft using aviation level standards and testing to meet aviation grade safety and quality requirements. CATL says that in addition to aviation, it will shortly unveil an automotive grade version of condensed batteries, which will also go into mass production this year. Elon Musk stated in 2020 that electric flight starts to get interesting once you get 400 watt hours per kilogram. He predicted that this would be attainable by 2023 at the time. This week's announcement confirms, if not exceeds, Musk's prediction that this level of energy density would be commercially feasible by now. The new CATL battery will have an energy density of 500 watt hours per kilogram and will be a semi-solid state battery with condensed electrolyte and novel and ode and separator materials. A solid state battery is a type of battery that uses a solid electrolyte rather than the liquid electrolytes that are used in lithium ion technology. To be able to speak effectively about solid state batteries it is necessary to first grasp how lithium ion batteries work and their primary distinctions from this new technology. Every lithium ion cell contains two electrodes, which are compounds that can accept lithium ion intercalation inside their structure. More specifically, we are discussing a cathode, which is the positive pole of the battery made of cathodic material, such as LFP, NMC, LMO, and so on, and the current collector, and an anode, which is the negative pole of the battery made of anodic material, such as carbon or graphite, and the current collector. A lithium ion cell also includes a central separator, which is a thin layer of a plastic polymer, polyethylene or polypropylene, that acts as a mechanical separator between the anode and cathode and acts as an insulator and an electrolyte, which is the medium through which ions move, an organic liquid containing lithium salt. By functioning as a connecting connection between the cathode and an ode, the electrolyte fills the entire space inside the cell, soaks the electrodes, and allows the lithium ions to travel. Aside from insulation, the separator in a current lithium ion battery serves no other purpose and is completely submerged in the liquid electrolyte, which soaks everything inside the cell and becomes a real medium through which lithium ions move between the cathode and an ode, where the anode is made of a graphite structure. As a result, the lithium ions migrate through the electrolyte and intercalate in the crystal structures of the two anode and cathode electrodes, structures with empty spaces within where the lithium ions fit due to their tiny size. Solid state batteries, on the other hand, have a very different internal structure because all of their parts are solid. While the electrolyte in traditional lithium batteries is a liquid, solid state cells are made of a cathode, a separator, typically ceramic or solid polymer, that simultaneously serves as an electrolyte, and an anode. The gray metal layer is the solid state separator, which serves as both the separator between the anode and cathode and the electrolyte on its own. As a result, it serves as a medium for ion movement as well as an electric insulator and mechanical separator between the anode and cathode. Because there is this solid resistant support, the graphite structure on the anode part can be removed and lithium metal can accumulate directly on the anode, there are also semi-solid solutions where the electrolyte is a gel. When the cell is charging, lithium particles move from the cathode through the structure of the atoms that make up the separator, and into the space between the separator and the anode's electrical contact, forming a solid layer of pure lithium. As a result, the anode will be made entirely of lithium particles and will have a lower volume than a lithium ion technology anode with a graphite structure. Solid electrolytes appear to give greater energy density, a longer life, and greater safety, all in a smaller size. 
Battery experts throughout the world have been working on solid-state electrolyte lithium-ion batteries with energy densities ranging from 400 to 600 watt-hours per kilogram. The solid electrolytes used in these batteries are primarily comprised of ceramic or polymer materials, and manufacturing challenges have been one of the barriers to large-scale manufacture. The CATL condensed battery, also known as a condensed matter battery, employs a polymer gel-like electrolyte that modifies its mesh structure and modulates the interaction forces between its polymer chins. According to the business, this improves conductivity and lithium-ion transport within the electrolyte while also enhancing microstructure stability and battery safety. CATL claims that it is using an ultra-high-density cathode material, new and old materials and separators, and a new production technique that could allow serial manufacture to begin later this year, while not providing much specifics. The price of the new high-energy density battery was not disclosed at the product launch in Shanghai. A pouch and a prismatic cell structure were on exhibit during the presentation. Now, what effect will this battery have on the global technological landscape? The first and most obvious application for a battery with such high energy density would be to extend the range of an electric vehicle. A 500 watt hours per kilogram cell in place of a 250 watt hours per kilogram cell in a pack would double the range an EV could travel with the same weight of batteries or cut the weight of the pack in half to obtain the same range. In other words, a modern luxury EV that can travel 300 miles on a charge might suddenly travel 600 miles, enough for a full day of driving without needing to recharge. Alternatively, a small commuter EV could be built with much smaller and lighter batteries that can recharge faster during the day or overnight. CATL is collaborating with various firms to create electric passenger aircraft using the new condensed matter batteries. Commercial lithium ion batteries have not yet provided enough energy to enable completely electric flying. CATL, on the other hand, opens the door to short and medium range aircraft powered exclusively by batteries by about tripling the energy density. Building batteries that meet aircraft-grade safety and quality standards is difficult, and the battery giant sees its new condensed battery as a breakthrough that will finally allow powered aviation to take off. While many breakthroughs in high-density battery technology have occurred in recent months, many of these technologies are still in their infancy and may take many years to reach mass production. What makes CATL's announcement this week genuinely significant is that the condensed battery will enter mass production this year with rapid integration into current technology. And we've come to the end of today's video. If you are enjoying our content, then be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and activate notification to be the first to know when we put out new videos. Thanks for watching.